Hi guys, welcome to this quick review of these Powner G rechargeable lithium ion batteries. It's a set of four and it's micro USB rechargeable. It came in this box here. Yeah, nothing fancy, but it's only $20 and it's a pretty good set so I'm really really happy with it and that's the reason why I wanted to show you that uh, yeah here's the box there was not much in it of course we got this nice one two four or four in one uh, micro USB charging uh, cable because we got four batteries here we have two of them we also got this nice packaging or like pack uh, transportation pack that's really helpful I mean it's not super quality but it can be super helpful that's usually not the case when you buy such a set so it's already a good price so regarding capacity it says 2960 milliwatt hours it's a little bit strange so usually when i test these things and companies are writing uh, watt hours or milliwatt hours instead of milliamps hours i mean milliampere hours this is basically the standard and when they are writing milliwatt hours this is somehow a little bit doubtful i would say this is uh, not real scammy but for me it looks like they are trying to cheat customers because they are used to know the uh, numbers in milliamp hours and when they come with milliwatt hours it looks really tempting you think oh wow almost 3000 milliwatt hours and uh, at the end it's not so much i mean it's not bad but when we compare it like to this one here these uh, batteries I have already tested before and they just write 1600 milliamps. When you see them side by side, you think, okay, which one am I going to buy? This one's here or this one's? So most people, of course, would uh, on the same price would decide for this one. But I can tell you this one has actually more capacity. This is insane. I mean, I'm not saying you should buy these ones. There are some reasons why you should buy these ones. But still, somehow it looks a little bit scammy. So regarding the build, yeah, let's start with this thing here. It has a good build here on the back. I hope it's focusing. You can see it has this round edge, which protects really good. On the top, not so much. Unfortunately, they have decided to do some crazy thing here on top. And you can see when you're using like a screwdriver to take the thing out of some equipment, you could easily damage the top here. I mean, it's not going to destroy this battery, but it's ruining a little bit the appearance. And I don't know why they have made this. I mean, of course, they needed a little bit of more space here on top. The good thing is, of course, it saves probably some space when you are comparing it to this thing here. You see when you have the micro USB opening or the port or here on the side, it probably needs more space inside than this construction. But this prevents a little bit from having such nice protection all around. You can see I've been using this for around one year and it almost looks like new. Even I have been using this a lot and this thing here is pretty new and it still looks uh, already damaged. And also regarding capacity, yeah, this one here, I have tested this set here and it has delivered more than 2000 milliamps actually, much more than it's written here on the battery and in the listing and here they are saying 2960 and i've been measuring it and i got only 1700 and uh, i think 30 or so uh, which is a little bit below i mean when we divide this number by 1.5 then we should get around 1980 or something like that and it has not delivered the full capacity even after two or three cycles so i don't think uh, it will increase that's a little bit disappointing but but still it's enough for most uh, of the things so actually i love the thing here on the top because it really leaves more space for the electronics and everything inside it's also a little bit 
easier to charge when you have it like this imagine you have a couple of them side by side and you have to charge them like this it's much easier than when you have them on the side uh, it's not a big difference but it is an advantage so but where they have a much bigger advantage is regarding the size and regarding the power which they are delivering so here i have two of these batteries i had this in this xbox original xbox uh, 360 controller and you can see it's super difficult sometimes to pull them out I need sometimes really a lot so when I'm doing same thing here with these batteries you can see how much better this works I can just uh, pull it out I mean I don't even have to pull them out I can just shake them out this is not possible with this thing here you can see I can shake as long as I want uh, nothing is happening so uh, really I have to really pull hard to uh, get these things out so a huge uh, advantage uh, from this set here definitely and it's not only regarding the Xbox controller of course this is one of the most uh, picky uh, thing I mean it's very tight here but also with other equipment it can be an advantage by the way I've been using these batteries for about two weeks now in the Blink XT camera surveillance camera system and this camera is also very very picky it only works with lithium ion usually most people are using disposable 1.5 volts uh, lithium ion uh, batteries but with these uh, rechargeable batteries it also worked without any problems and it would never work like with uh, just alkaline batteries or nickel cadmium or nickel metal hybrid then also regarding power i have set up this thing here uh, so i can show you the uh, power here i have inside two of these batteries i hope you can see that uh, it's just a temporary thing it's not uh, a huge uh, professional construction but i still hope i can show you that how much uh, power they can deliver so i'm running here this battery test uh, with this ramp up mode and you can see i'm increasing the amps here I go a little bit closer you can see that better so we are at 0 0.35 amps 0 0.5 and at this level the other battery the blue one has already stopped and you can see we are still at 2.7 volts and it has started uh, much higher i think it started with uh, almost 3 volts and then uh, barely went down so you can see it's a really strong uh, battery so we are at already 1.1 amps it's insane how high we can get with this uh, battery and we are still above 2.5 volts now we are close to 1.2 amps that's insane i don't know how high we can go maybe i stop this better before we destroy the thing yeah i've never seen so much power yeah i think we are close now to the end anyway we are almost down at 2.5 volts and almost at 1.5 amps yeah it has stopped anyway uh yeah it has reached 2.5 uh, volts but only after uh, delivering 1.42 amps that's absolutely crazy i have already done this test same test with this battery here and it stopped at uh, 0.4 amps so you can see it's a huge difference a huge difference actually when device is requesting high power this can deliver much more and it has usually a much higher voltage these batteries are heavily struggling when i pull uh, a little bit of power and the uh, voltage is going down pretty fast not so much with this thing here it has higher voltage can deliver more power yeah it's uh, a huge uh, advantage here so regarding the size and regarding the power uh, they are doing a much better job so overall i would say we get a really really good value here with these really powerful batteries we get this thing here four in one we get 
this protection so really good value i really love this and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time